everybody, Gil here with the Stanley Vessel Dream Chaser, and in today's episode, we are on part number eight of the teak deck removal. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be working on that teak deck. You'll see us pull up some more of the uh, teak itself off of the top of the deck, how we remove the screws, and start prepping that, uh, clean the surface off of all that teak, and prepping the surface um, before we start sanding or grinding it level. And the next steps are going to be fixing any repairs and then putting new glass on top of it. Um, so you'll see that in this episode. Uh, also, um, we've got a little bit motivated, so we started to rip the inner walls out of the V-berth. Uh, the idea is we want to get it all the way down to the bare hull. Uh, one of the things you'll see in this video, it's just amazing, you know, we had some pieces of wood that was rotted and you get some smell of must and stuff in the boat every once in a while. So the ceiling of the V-berth is uh, plywood and it's painted white, right? It reflects the light down real well. It's, it's a great solution. Except, when we pulled that um, ceiling down, there's about two inches of space between that, um, that plywood ceiling that's painted and the actual fiberglass, um, you know, the bottom side of the cord deck above. Uh, the, the lower side of that fiberglass above the plywood ceiling, um, it looked like the top of a greenhouse. It was just completely beaded with water. And I just reached up and touched my hand on it, it just rained down on me. I thought it'd be good to show um, exactly how we go about pulling up this teak deck. So as you can see right here, what I'm doing is I'm using um, two different crowbars. I have a flat bar, and that's what you see me hitting here. I started at this section of it. Um, I'm holding it um, with the beveled edge along the hull, and I'm just pushing it in. And then I use a, a thicker, um, longer crowbar, and I just put it down as far as I can. So I go toward the part that's connected, and then just start lifting up. You'll see I start to alternate, right? So the decking broke right there. I find another spot. A lot of times these spots I'm looking for are right between where two of the screws were in the deck. It's just, I, I attempted pulling the bungs out and doing it that way. It just didn't work well. So as you can see, we're just alternating back and forth. And I get that one uh, in there and I just kind of keep whacking into it until it's uh, in as far as I can. And I go as far down the board uh, as I can to put the, the next bar in. Um, with these two, crowbars uh, and this that longer crowbar and you see in the video is a, about 18 to 20 inches long uh, the short one's probably about 14 inches long so not too very long but as you can see it's making progress and then I just sort of lift these up and uh, you know pull the boards uh, right up off the deck so, you know I'm not worried about breaking them up because I'm not saving them you can see they have jagged edges um, destroying a little bit of the teak but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I've said this in some of the earlier videos, these are too thin to be able to use for effective decking. Uh, and in that piece that just came up, you can even see it's got a bit of moisture in it. But that's the method we use to pull these up. And now, like any good boy, I need to clean up after myself, so... Our neighbor Keith was nice enough to let me go ahead and uh, put the old teak in his pickup and take it up to the uh, to the dumpster rather than what I was initially intending to do and that was put it on the hood of my car. Thanks Keith. We are removing some more of the screws and some more of the decking uh, and we are also um, going to start uh, ripping out some of the inside wood in the V-berth and completely redoing the V-berth. So when I first start out, I always start with the drill. Um, a lot of these screw heads have epoxy in them and you can't actually get a screwdriver bit down into the screw head itself, but I take advantage of all the ones that I can and I use the drill to back out any of them that are, um, are able to be done with that way.
I like to go ahead and use this old ratty life jacket. It doesn't fit anybody anymore, but it makes a great knee pad. So I start by just laying this down, and I use these little Dixie cups to get all the screws. So I've uh, got my little helper here, and she's helping me pick up some of the ones I was able to get out with the screw gun. And then all the screws are over there. Do you want to pick up all those too? You tripped over it? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. All right, just making sure. So we get a little physics lesson in uh, how metal heats up under friction. There's another one by your leg there. Oh yeah, it is hot, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta remember that when I'm taking them out. They get warm when they're getting turned. And too hot. Mm -hmm. What I usually end up doing is I use um, two different size vice grips. And the reason I do is because I have essentially two sets of different screw sizes. I don't like a lot of these screws though, so I'm pulling these out, Chaz. I can see light from your room below. So if I can, if I can show you here, I end up with a lot of these right here. So this is the original bronze flat screws. So I'll end up with a line kind of going all the way across the deck. You can see, you can see this here. You kind of see this line of, of screws. So I have the line of bronze screws or originals and some that have been replaced. And then right next to it, a whole other row of stainless where somebody had done some deck work once before. Really. Gotta show this, it's crazy. So we just ripped the ceiling out, as you know, right? And it looks, and we go kind of close to the ceiling, it looks like it's gonna rain in here. Now, I got a spot where the stanchions go through there, I'm sure they're bedded horribly, but that doesn't explain all of that. So I'm either completely saturated in the core right here, or it's just condensation, I just don't know yet. So, we're still doing some exploratory here and we'll figure it out, but. On behalf of Deb and I both, we wanna thank everybody for watching this week's video. We really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on social media, and we'd love to see if you leave a comment down below. We enjoy conversing back and forth with people that watch the channel. We learn a ton from you guys as well, so thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even Tumblr. Please take a moment and go over to our website at svdreamchaser.com to download free resources for cruising and how-to projects. Get your thumbs and mouses ready. We also have a couple of links right on the screen for some other playlists and videos that we think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching fellow dreamers.